We are living local with Lila. And if you're looking for some plans this weekend, she has just the thing for you. Lila is giving us a look at Savor St. Pete, a local food, wine, and beer festival that kicks off this weekend. She's at Paul's Landing in St. Pete with a sneak peek. You can eat your way through Tampa Bay at a brand new festival called Savor St. Pete come this weekend. Savor St. Pete puts a new twist on a beloved Pinellas County staple event. The culinary scene in St. Pete has become so prominent and so impressive that we were looking at St. Pete for a while as far as bringing the event here. So this became taking its foodie road tripping. We're taking it from Clearwater, we're moving it to downtown St. Pete, and we've got some amazing restaurants from all over the bay. Paul's landing at the famous Vinoy is firing up the pan for a classic dish. We are making Marchand's classic shrimp and grits. Uh, we put a little twist on it. With our grits, we add a little bit of sofrito into it, lightens it up, gives it that Latin flavor. Roy's in Tampa is serving up their creation in a cocktail glass. So we have a sous vide uh, white fish and lump crab trifle. So we're going to start with a little bit of sushi rice that we make in house. So we're going to follow with a little bit of uh, lomi lomi, which is just uh, tomatoes, onions, chives, and a little bit of garlic, uh, avocado and wasabi mousse. Yum. And layer that over here. Next, we're going to grab some of our uh, sous vide white fish. This is mostly fish bellies from uh, grouper and mahi that we bring into the restaurant daily. And then we're going to finish with a little bit of uh, micro greens just for a nice bit of pop. Publix is joining the party with some homegrown meat. And we're making a Korean barbecue beef slider with an Asian slaw. You can take a bite out of all of these delicious dishes at Savor St. Pete this weekend right here in downtown St. Petersburg. In St. Pete, I'm Lila Gross, 8 on your side.